Today we'll discuss about abnormalities of anterior pituitary hormones. Abnormalities include either hypersecretion or hyposecretion of anterior pituitary hormones. Hypersecretion of anterior pituitary hormone results in gigantism, acromegaly, acromegalic gigantism, hyperprolactinemia, and Cushing's disease. And disorders due to hyposecretion of anterior pituitary hormones, they are dwarfism, Froelich syndrome, and acromicria. Let us start with gigantism. It is a clinical condition resulting from hypersecretion of growth hormone before puberty, that is before closure of epiphysis with the diaphysis, and that results in excessive skeletal, somatic, and visceral growth. Commonest cause that is acidophilic tumor of the anterior pituitary gland. Clinical features due to hypersecretion of growth hormone that is increase in the height, excessive growth of the long bones that results in abnormal height may be 7 or 8 feet or above with huge status and the person becomes giant. You can see here these are the pictures of some giants. Also the person is having hyperglycemia, glycosuria and which is known as pituitary diabetes. This is caused because growth hormone leads to excessive insulin secretion and overactivity of the beta cells of the pancreas that ultimately results in degeneration and exhaustion of the beta cells and therefore deficiency of insulin and that results in diabetes mellitus. Other features are headache and visual disturbances. Here you can see commonest visual disturbance that is bitemporal hemianopia and that is because of compression of the optic chiasma you can see here in the diagram optic chiasma is compressed by the acidophilic tumor of pituitary gland and that produces loss of temporal field of the vision in both the eyes you can see here and this is known as bitemporal hemianopia and lastly there is hypopituitarism and it is due to compression of other cells of the pituitary gland by the acidophilic tumor cells. Another disorder of hypersecretion of growth hormone is acromegaly. This is the clinical condition that occurs due to excessive growth hormone secretion in the adults, means after epiphyseal closure of the long bones. And this causes excessive growth in those areas where cartilage persists. Here, as the epiphysis fuses with the diaphysis, height cannot be increased. So the signs and symptoms, they are facial features. The person is having acromegalic face, which is characterized by thick lips, macroglossia, that is enlarged tongue, broad and thick nose. The person is having prominent eyebrows and prominent supraorbital ridges. Skin becomes thick and coarse facial features you can see in the picture. The person is also having prognathism that is protrusion of lower jaw and that is due to elongation and widening of the mandible. Along with that person is having increased spacing of the teeth. The term acromegaly means acral part abnormalities like large sped like hands, thick wide fingers, and large feet with increase in the size of shoes. Height is normal as we have discussed but build is stout. Another clinical feature is kyphosis that is due to improper vertebral growth. The person is also having enlargement of internal visceras like cardiomegaly, hepatomegaly, splenomegaly and renomegaly may be there. And the person is having hyperglycemia as we have discussed. Because of excessive growth hormone secretion, insulin secretion is also increased and that results in overactivity of beta cells of pancreas which ultimately results in exhaustion of beta cells and deficiency of insulin that results in diabetes mellitus. Next is acromegalic gigantism. Here, there is mixed features of acromegaly as well as gigantism is present. 
and the cause is hypersecretion of growth hormone in childhood which continues after fusion of epiphysis. Treatment. Treatment may be surgical or medical. Surgical treatment is removal of acidophilic tumor. And medical treatment, we can give bromocryptine, which is a stimulator of growth hormone secretion in the normal individuals, but it suppresses growth hormone level in acromegalic patients. We can also give octreotide, that is a somatostatine analog, and it is effective in the treatment of long-term acromegaly but its use is associated with increased chances of gallstone formation. Another disorder because of hypersecretion of anterior pituitary hormone that is Cushing's disease. This is a basophilic adenoma of pituitary gland. Here there is increased secretion of ACTH and that results in increased secretion of glucocorticoids. Here the cause is pituitary and therefore the disease is known as Cushing's disease. If the cause is adrenal, then it is known as Cushing syndrome. Next is hypoactivity of anterior pituitary. The disorder is dwarfism. Here there is a short stature or stunted growth. Causes that is deficiency of growth hormone releasing hormone from hypothalamus due to deficiency of somatomedin C which is required for the action of growth hormone maybe because of deficiency of growth hormone itself. It is due to tumor of the chromophobes that compresses acidophilic cells and growth hormone secretion decreases and maybe because of pan hypopituitarism in which all the pituitary hormone secretion is reduced. Signs and symptoms. There is stunted skeletal growth due to deficiency of growth hormone. Pituitary dwarf with the chronological age of 20 years has a body structure like that of 7 to 10 years of age. The growth is proportionately stunted, means decrease in the size of all the visceras as well as all the organs. If only growth hormone secretion is reduced, then the person is not having mental retardation and reproductive functions are also normal. Another cause is Lorin dwarfism. Here it is a genetic disorder in which there is insensitivity of growth hormone and it is due to abnormal growth hormone receptors due to mutation of the gene for the growth hormone receptors. In African pygmies there is deficiency of somatomedin C and there is normal growth hormone secretion or sometimes the growth hormone secretion may be increased but somatomedin C is absent and therefore the growth is retarded. Another cause is psychologically also the person may be dwarf. Another cause is Froelich syndrome in which there is pan hypopituitarism. Pituitary hormone secretion is reduced. Commonly growth hormone FSH and LH secretion that is reduced. The person is having decreased growth as well as lack of sexual development, the person is also having obesity and sterility and the cause is not known. Another is acromigria. Here growth hormone deficiency in the adults that results in atrophy of the extremities of body and the causes are deficiency of growth hormone releasing hormone or deficiency of somatomedin C maybe because of deficiency of growth hormone or tumor of the chromophobes and pan hypopituitarism. Clinical features, the person is having acromicria, that is atrophy of hands and feet. Also, the person may show the symptoms of hypothyroidism, decreased secretion of TSH and thyroid hormone. Symptoms of hyposecretion of adrenocortical hormones and loss of sexual functions may be present. So this is all about the disorders of pituitary gland. Thank you.